It felt like my head was in a vice. That's how some people describe the pain of a migraine. But a migraine is much more than just a headache. It includes symptoms that happen before the pain starts and after it goes away. One of those symptoms is aura, and it can be just as debilitating as the headache itself. And auras can also slightly increase your risk of certain other conditions. More from Mayo Clinic. Every blind in my house is drawn. Regan Larish Hunter shuts out the light because sunlight, lamplight, any light can trigger a migraine. It's just a like a veil that just goes over you. But it's not just the headache pain that Regan dreads. She also dreads the aura, the visual disturbances that happen beforehand. I get little sparks, little floaters and flashers. Those faces will start to disappear. And if we image the brain during that time, we can see that there are areas that are not functioning quite properly. Dr. David Dodick says what's happening in your brain during an aura is like the ripple effect you get when you toss a pebble in water. But that sort of ripple or wave starts in the back of the brain in an area called the occipital cortex. That's the part of the brain that controls vision. So when a trigger, such as light, causes neurons there to activate, a wave of abnormal electrical activity spreads. As it moves across different lobes of your brain, it can cause different symptoms. Visual disturbances first, then tingling, speech problems, and weakness in your limbs. As Regan knows, symptoms can be scary, but they're generally not dangerous. However, people with aura have a slightly increased risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease. The risk is higher if you smoke or are a woman on the pill. Women who have migraine with aura should not take the pill. Regan's been able to reduce the frequency and severity of her migraines with medication. And after years of suffering, she's enjoying life. There are many medications available for migraine sufferers. The problem is they don't work for everyone. Regan takes oral medication to stop her auras, and she also has injections of botulinum toxin in areas of her face, head, and neck. She went from having up to 20 headaches a month to three. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.